Hey guys, I just want to let you know that I'm hosting a 2800 V-Buck giveaway. If you guys want to be entered in the giveaway, subscribe to my channel right now and also follow TB Big on Twitch. You can also click the link in the description below to find more ways to enter the giveaway. But anyway, hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. There are brand new Fortnite overtime challenges in Season 8 that allow players to unlock free rewards, such as a free Season 9 battle pass, free skins, and more. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to complete every single overtime challenge. So definitely make sure to watch this video until the end to see exactly how to complete every single overtime challenge to unlock all of the new overtime rewards in Fortnite Season 8. Drop this video a like right now if you guys are hyped for these brand new overtime challenges. We actually saw this last season with Season 7, in which those overtime challenges allowed us to get the Season 8 Battle Pass along with some free skins as well. So drop this video like if you guys are hyped for the brand new season 8 overtime challenges let me know in the comments down below right now what level and tier are you guys for season 8 i think i'm sitting at like level 67 or 68 and i'm tier 99 right now I'm one tier to tier 100 to get the luke skin but let me know in the comments down below what level and tier are you guys for season 8 thank you to everyone who is using my supporter creator code in the item shop it really does help me out a lot with you guys using my code if you guys do want to support me in the item shop my creator code is hey it's ben j you guys can also get a shout out in my next video if you go on twitter and follow me my twitter is hey it's ben j and if you tweet me a picture of you using my code in the item shop i'll shout you out in my next video and one last thing make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel with notifications on for all of the newest fortnite leaks updates news and more so i am very excited to show you guys all of the brand new overtime challenges and how to complete every Every single one myself along with probably millions of other players I love getting free rewards from Fortnite and these overtime challenges are a great way to not only get some free skins but also a free season 9 battle pass as well so without further ado I'm gonna hop straight into all of the overtime challenges and exactly how to complete every single one along with the rewards that you'll get with completing every single challenge so the first three challenges all have to do with the season 8 battle pass and reaching a certain tier for those the first challenge is to reach battle battle pass tier 23 now if you guys aren't past this point in your battle pass then i don't know what you guys are doing like come on just play the game no i'm just kidding but tier 23 isn't really too hard to get i'm pretty sure that's like a week or two's worth of completing all of the challenges so if you guys just complete a few weeks boom you can complete that challenge the next tier you have to reach is level 71 honestly it's a pretty big jump to go from tier 23 to tier 71 but if you guys have been keeping up with completing all of the weekly challenges per week then most of you guys should be past tier 71 next you have to reach battle pass tier 87 once again if you guys have kept up with doing all of the challenges per week then you guys should definitely be past this point for me i've completed every single challenge from weeks one through eight and i've completed about half of uh, the week nine challenges and like i said at the beginning of this video i'm sitting at tier 99 so if you guys have been keeping up with your challenges you guys should have completed this challenge without a doubt moving right along to the next challenges the next one is to collect coins in featured creative island now we saw a challenge very similar actually it was pretty much the exact same thing with the season 7 overtime challenges basically when the overtime challenges are unlocked if you go into the featured islands in creative mode there are going to be a variety of different maps fortnite gives us to collect coins on now each map will have a different amount of coins and each map will be very different from one another i remember from the season 7 overtime challenges there was a map where like you could go from like these floating islands you like go from island to island collecting these coins there was another one that was like a coin maze i believe so really collecting the coins is different for every single featured island but i mean it really shouldn't be too hard i mean the map should really just walk you through how to get through and how to collect all the coins anyway for this you need to collect a total of 20 coins in order to complete that challenge next place top 10 in squads with a friend you have to do this a total of three times this one pretty straightforward you just have to place top 10 in squads this is like a daily challenge pretty much if you have a really solid squad top 10 really shouldn't be too hard for you that's pretty much making it into at least top 40 in a squads match but really you guys can complete this challenge just by playing the game naturally and trying to win because obviously if you win then uh you know that's top 10 and once you place top 10 in squads with their friend at three different times that challenge is complete moving right along to the next challenge and that is to deal damage to opponents for this you have to deal 1000 damage to opponents now doing the math that calculates down to about 10 kills or so however you could probably do it in less than 10 kills if people have 
have shield already, then you know that's 150, 200 damage a person. But once again, you can complete this challenge just by playing the game and getting kills and trying to win. So not really much to tell you guys about this. Pretty straightforward challenge. After that challenge, place top 10 in duos with the friend. Once again, you have to do this three different times. This is obviously very similar to place top 10 in squads with a friend, except now you do it in duos. So if you have a really solid duo partner, then this challenge really should be a breeze for you. Like you really shouldn't have too much trouble with this. Place top 10 in duos, you have to make it to, I think at least top 20 in a match, but it really just varies on how many teams are left, which you really don't know until you die. However, top 10 in duos, it really should not be too much of a struggle for you. Moving right along to the next challenge, outlast opponents. For this, you need to outlast 500 opponents. And just like the other few I mentioned before, you'll probably complete this by naturally just playing the game, trying to place top 10 in duos and squads and, you know, trying to get a limbs and doing all of that kind of stuff. You really don't need to do like anything for this challenge. Like you really just don't. You just have to play the game. Like how easy could this be? And even if you are the worst player to touch Fortnite, you can complete this challenge pretty easily. I guess if you want to get this challenge done quicker and you're like that bad maybe just drop on the edges of the map like lonely or snobby or you know any of those locations maybe sit in a ball on the edge of the storm you know be one of those kids but really this challenge definitely should not be a struggle to anyone playing and now moving right along to the last challenge and that is to place top 25 in solos and once again it just like placing top 10 in duos and squads you have to do this a total of three different times this one's probably the easiest challenge out of all of the placing challenges just because you don't have to rely on your duo partner or like having a good squad this is literally just your skills and placing top 25 really shouldn't be too hard for you i mean really as soon as you land like 30 seconds into the game there's already like 70 people left because everyone dies at tilted and wherever they dropped and then all of a sudden you'll realize like a minute or two later it's top 30 people get dropped in solos very quickly so once again even if you aren't the best at fortnite this really shouldn't be too troubling for you so now that i've read through all of the overtime challenges and how to complete every single one i'm going to be showing you guys all of the rewards that you get from completing these challenges first for all of the challenges besides the battle pass tier challenges you're going to be rewarded with 1000 xp for each challenge which i guess is pretty nice if you're trying to you know make it to level 100 to get all of those secret level 100 rewards so if you complete all of the overtime challenges you're going to be granted with a total of 6000 extra xp which will obviously help a lot with leveling up in season 8 for the free skins that you can unlock with completing the overtime challenges in order to unlock this very cool variant to the sidewinder you have to complete two overtime challenges any two of the overtime challenges that i just listed i personally think this looks better than the original sidewinder outfit in my opinion it might just be me but i really like the color scheme a lot more on this version or on this variant of the sidewinder and you can get this skin very easily all you have to do is complete two of the overtime challenges in order to unlock this very cool variant to the ember you have to complete four of the overtime challenges once again i really like the color scheme of the ember skin here you can't really see it in the picture but her hands are also animated like the fire animation is still there except now it's blue rather than you know the normal like red yellow color i think it's well worth it to complete four overtime challenges to get this very cool variant to the ember skin and if you complete six different overtime challenges you're going to be rewarded with this brand new variant to the master key outfit this one features him having like a green undershirt on with like this really cool white tiger coat over it with some really cool designs on it there's like dashes of silver throughout he's got his cat mask on except now it is silver however if you select the style with the mask off obviously he just doesn't have that silver cat mask on or the tiger mask whatever that is but i still think this variant is definitely well worth completing six overtime challenges not just because the overtime challenges are a breeze but also this variant is a very nice i really like the color scheme on this one too now as for unlocking the season nine battle pass for free we do know that through these overtime challenges you are going to be rewarded with the season nine battle pass in some way except as i'm recording this i'm not sure how many of the challenges you need to complete in order to unlock the battle pass it might be all of them i believe in last season's overtime challenges i believe there were a total of like 20 challenges and i think if you completed like 13 of them you were rewarded with the season 8 battle pass for free however with the season 8 overtime challenges there are only a total of nine different challenges to complete 12 if you include the challenges to complete overtime challenges for those skin variants so honestly it might be all 12 in order to unlock the season 9 battle pass it might be like 9 out of 12 it could be 6 out of 12 as of right now we do not know but once the overtime challenge is officially unlocked you'll see right there on the screen how many you need to complete in order to get the season 9 battle pass but overall with the brand new fortnite season 8 overtime challenges you're going to be rewarded with three brand
brand new skin variants, a ton of XP, and also the Season 9 Battle Pass for no cost at all from completing challenges that are very simple and very easy to do. So I definitely recommend you guys go out and complete all of these overtime challenges once they do unlock. Trust me, I think it is well worth it, especially with you saving that extra 10 bucks for the Season 9 Battle Pass. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching this video covering all of the new Fortnite overtime challenges in Season 8 and all of the free rewards that you can unlock with the overtime challenges. Drop this video a like right now if you guys did enjoy. Also, let me know in the comments if you did enjoy. Check out my last video. There's going to be a link to it in the description. And also, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel with notifications on. And yeah, that's been it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.